Howdy everyone. A little late this week. Sorry about that. It's been a crazy weekend. We had a lot of people here this weekend, so I didn't get a chance to get into my office. So here we are today. So I just got back from hanging out with a friend and she's a lampwork bead artist, but she's also a paper artist. So she does a lot of quilling. And um, so I was watching her do that. And I'll tell you what, quilling is very relaxing. Um, I haven't tried it. I just kind of sat back and watched her do it because I'm not ready to get involved in something else um, to take away from everything else that I do. So the last thing I need is another another art medium. So anyway, she gave me an idea. So I wanted to make a quill flower. And I want this bright. And since I'm still working with the blue and yellow theme, with the daisies that we did. Um, you probably already saw the video. So remember we made these. You know, just some little daisies. So I thought I'd stay on the theme and that way I can probably put those in with the beads as well. So what I did was I used a two inch square and I cut out two pieces of regular um, cad yellow. And then I took some orange into the cad yellow and I made kind of a dark yellow. I know it looks orange here, but it's not. It's more of a dark yellow. Because I didn't want to do orange and I didn't want to do red because then to me that just looks like it's moving into the fall. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw this to the pasta machine. My workbench is a complete disaster. And so <laughs> that's why I've got you on a piece of marble today because underneath and to the side on both sides is just a complete mess so I didn't want to show that so let me go ahead and run this through the pasta machine and I'll be right back okay so we are back I'm having problems holding on to my camera here so I'm going really small so I only use two of the two inch squares of yellow and a dark yellow I don't want to go really big on these because I'm going to end up going really small and I don't want it to really I don't know it'll it'll squish all the lines together I'm afraid, and then I don't think it's going to look like anything by the time I'm done. So I want a really bright flower to go against the white. So I'm going to add some straight yellow. And this is going to be our little center, which I'll show you in a minute. So I'm just going to set this right here. It doesn't have to be obviously perfect. None of my stuff is anyways. Okay. Okay. So I want this to really stand out. So I did make another one of these. This is just a little darker than the actual petal. So I've made one of these a long time ago. Um, and it didn't really stand out as much as I wanted it to. And then I've also made this using white in between on top of the petal to give it like, um, I don't know, more of a definition. And that just, that didn't work at all. So I'm going to avoid using any black on this. Yeah, and this isn't kind of sitting up straight. I apologize for that. I will try to keep it down so it's not quite so loud when I do this. Okay, and I'm going to do the center flower, and I'm going to do one, two, three layers. So I need a total of four pieces here. And I'm going to be adding a lot of white in between. So I don't want it that big. So I'm going to want one piece that's a little smaller, because that's the one that's going to have the white. Okay, so, yeah, this kind of got sucked in there. So what we'll do to fix that is just grab some yellow and throw it right in there. Okay, so I want a big piece. And I'm going to do this at an inch. So I have one, two, three, four, so that's perfect. So 
So that's where I want my first cut. Yeah, the only reason I don't like having this on top is I lose my ruler. Okay. So before we get into this, this is going to be our inside. Kind of like our flower center. And all I did was take a really small, I think this is a one inch square, one and a half. And I did one yellow and one of the orange yellow. And again, I'm not really worried if it's perfect. Okay. And I'm going to kind of bevel it like that. And that'll get it to sit in there really nice. Okay, so that's going to be the center of our flower. Okay, so we're going to set that aside, and now we'll start on this. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, and I'm just going to shape it into a petal. Basically just like that. And I took some white, and I'm going to run it through at a number three. I don't want it really thick because I don't want it to overtake this since it's so small. Everything's sticking here. And we're going to wrap the flower with this. I don't know how I didn't cut it wide enough. Okay. So that is our first layer of our flower. And in about a minute, you'll see where I'm going with this. So we're going to go ahead and cut this at an inch as well. So I'm going to go one about right there and about right there. The last one is going to be bigger than all of them. And there they go. Never a day that they don't bark. Alright, I'm going to pause it find out why. Alright, so that was a guy that wanted to know if I needed any steaks. So he's got one of those trucks that go around the neighborhood selling steaks. And you know what? There was a time when I would have said yeah. But now's not the time. I don't trust anybody. Isn't that horrible? But I don't. All right, so what we're trying to do now, this is our second layer. We're going to want this all the way down here. Now, it would have been nice if I could do it that way. It would be easier, but I don't know if I'd be able to do that. So, we're just going to continue pulling it like this okay and we can kind of squish it in because it's going to get taller and skinnier as we go but I want that center to be thick okay and I know there's got to be an easier way to do this and as soon as I figure that out I will let you guys know. Okay, we're almost there. So I think we're there. Now I'm going to kind of just squish it in just a little bit. That'll give us a little bit of our thickness back too. Because I want that center to be thick. Okay, and then we're just going to kind of center that on top.
Okay. So now we're going to take another one of these white strips at a number three. And we are going to wrap around again. I don't know what's going on with my pasta machine. I'm going to have to take it apart. Because the last couple days I've been noticing a lot of ragged edges. I don't know what causes them. Maybe one of you guys know. But it just started up a couple days ago. So we're going to make sure that we've got all the air bubbles out. Okay, so now we're going to do that again. That's the biggest one. We're going to have to somehow get this to go all the way around as well. So I want to do it this way just because of the fact that, I don't know, it's longer, but I can't do that. So I'm going to try and do it this way. The other one will be easier. So when you do this, you might want to go like your first one at an inch, second one, one and a quarter, and then one and a half, or even a little bit bigger. I think I cut all of them at one inch. You could probably go a little lower than that. That'll help you out a little bit more than what I'm doing. So we're going to go a little more. Okay, so we almost got the length. But as you can see, the more you stretch it, the thinner it gets. So we're going to pull this out like that. that in a little bit that'll help okay let's try that now okay so that gave me perfect might be a little bit too much so believe it or not I'm gonna try and shrink it up a little bit not sure if it's gonna work though okay so take your thickest piece put it on top a little wider okay it's gonna be bright it's what I wanted so we still need two more of these so let me go ahead and run these through the pasta machine I'm not even going to cut it first. I'm just going to wait till it gets on top.
This got a little bit of yellow in it, so I'm not going to touch that. I'm just going to grab another piece of white. Oops, we're going to need one more. Okay, so this is our last one. So we're going to do the same with this. See, if I did it the other way, I could squish it this way, but yeah, it's going to have to go this way. And again, the more you pull, the thinner it's going to get in the center. This one should be quite easy since it's a little bigger. And there they go again. I try to make my videos at night because they're a little bit more quiet during the night. But then I've got everybody home from work. So it's kind of hard sometimes to get in here and do anything when everybody's home. And I don't want to yell at them on camera, so I'm being quite nice. Because that's all everybody needs to hear. It's like yelling at children. That I didn't want to happen. Ooh, he got really thin, didn't he? What I'm going to try and do is cut it right there. Ah, I don't know what happened there. I'm just going to try and piece him back together. It's not like you're really going to see it. So we're going to make this a little wider as we go. Okay, now I'll just finish this side. Over just a little bit. I know it's all it's all funky now. Okay, but that's okay. We're just gonna kind of smooth it out a little bit like this. Okay. Now we just have one more to put around. Oh, I think we have enough. That makes me happy. a package for my neighbor on my porch so I have a feeling the doorbell is gonna ring in one more second so we're perfect timing because I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this anyways and hit pause okay so that's what our final flower looks like okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce this into six equal parts as soon as I finish that I will come back and we'll assemble it Alrighty guys, we are back. I'm trying to get a, a perfect cut here. Make sure we got about six inches. Okay, got just a little more on that side. Oh well, we're gonna leave it just like that. Okay. 
So now we're going to cut these in an inch. So I'm going to try and do this. Okay, so there we go. I want this round, so So this is a little taller and this end is not so perfect so that helps okay so there is our flower I'll set that aside and we're going to start on the center here Okay, you know what? I'm going to cover that bottom piece with a little bit of orange. And I'm going to make that about a number five. This is not necessary. I'm just doing it anyways. It's just a thin piece. Okay. Gonna make this kind of small but not too small because we're gonna add translucent in between each of the petals so it's gonna kind of spread it This is a little bit of room in between. Okay, so we're going to do that. I'm going to go grab some translucent and condition it, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. And what I did was I just made some triangular shapes out of the white translucent and stuck them in the middle of the petals. Okay. So as we start squishing this together, all those petals on the bottom, as you can see, they're going to start touching. Okay, so now we just want to protect the outside of our flower. So... We're going to make sure that this touches the very bottom. Push it in so you don't get air bubbles. And then we will pause it one more time as we reduce this. And then we can show you the final flower. A little too deep on that one okay so basically that's what you got and now we're going to reduce this and hopefully this will all pack inside together 
And then if you start losing some of the shapes of your flower, just kind of push on the translucent and it'll push your petals back. So let me go reduce this and I'll be back for the final time. I almost forgot about you. So I came back to cut and I didn't realize I wasn't recording. Okay, so there we go. There's our little quill flower. And I made this really, really small, but I still want to go smaller. And we'll see how it looks on a ultramarine background. And I squished all the icky glass, the waste glass up. Boy, I can't even cut straight, can I? All I want is like two pieces. It's really soft. So we're going to put that there. I'm going to put that there. And then I've got the daisy. See what they look like together. Yeah, this has been sitting for over a week, so it's nice and hard. I have a feeling I used a different blue. I don't know. It's a little different. I'm not sure if these two go together, but I'm going to try it. Okay. Nah, I still like the daisy. But we'll see how that looks like after it comes out of the oven. I had all this left over, and I thought, hey, how would you like to watch me make a Natasha bead? I don't make Natasha beads. I make them very rarely. I've got a bunch of them sitting to the right of me. They didn't really come out well. So there's one. I don't know if you can see the face here. You got, like, horns right here. Yeah, let's see if I can do that. You got horns. So I see horns. I see hairy ears right here. There's two eyes and a nose and a snout. And it actually has a skeleton, but I don't know. It's a long one. Whether or not I use it, I have no idea. I never know what to use with them. And just putting them on a pendant like that, they always seem like it's missing something, like a border. And then I don't know what color border to put on them, so they just kind of sit here. Until somebody, something sparks in me and I go, okay, I'll try that. So, we just gathered all this together here. Turn it into a snake. And then I like to squish it in. She twist it twice. So we're going to get it really condensed there. Make sure we don't have any air bubbles in there. Okay, and now we're just going to do the same thing we did. I got the, all the neighborhood dogs are barking now. <laughs> Let me shut them up real quick. Okay, so now we're just going to gather it all together one more time. Every time I make them, they come out so thin. So I don't know how much to condense this. Be nice if I could get just two of them that actually match. I can make some really nice earrings out of them, but that doesn't seem to ever happen with them. All right, so we'll see if I overdid it. 
or if I didn't do it enough. So I'm going to cut it in half about right there. And I'm using the wrong side, aren't I? Nope, that was actually the right side. It's just a horrible blade. And I'm going to find something to press down with it. Which I can't find, so we're just going to use this little trusty piece of plastic right here. Also helps to get all the air bubbles out if there's any left. It feels pretty good, so I don't think I have anything in there. Let me see if I have a better blade so that this will go through a little easier. It's really soft too, and that does not help. Hmm. Well, it's not like I did it too much. It just didn't seem to make a really cool design. And if I do do it a little more, I'm afraid that we're going to ruin it. So, I'm going to go one more time. I'll leave the other one alone and do something with that one later. Yeah, it might just be too much. And if it blends any more, then we're just going to make it into a slab. And we've got a really pretty piece of apricot color. And that's going to be perfect for something for summer. Okay, so this is our last attempt. I think the colors were probably too close. I probably should have added some blue. Oh, I got a little bunny rabbit here. I was testing out a new cutter I had for Easter. And yeah, that's my funky face. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not a drawer. This is the only thing that I can see close by. That's not buried under everything. Why this is so backwards here. Oh, that might actually be a little better. a pretty color. I don't have as much contrast as I probably could have had. That would have made it look a lot better. But it is nice and peachy. So we're going to leave it alone. And I might just take a dark yellow backing on it. Let me do this side. Obviously, I haven't cut it yet. So I gotta find a nice little shape for it. I have to get me some printer paper.
Okay, so now I'll have to figure out what shape I want to cut it in, but I will do that later. I'll show you it now. And then maybe when it comes out of the oven, we can give you a peek. I mean, it looks good from here. Hopefully it'll, it'll work up a little darker. So there's shape in there, but there's a lot of translucent in between. So that'll be interesting to see what color it ends up with. So anyways, there is your little flower. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully we'll see you midweek. I have to get on glass beads for the next couple of days. So if you're interested in seeing a glass bead tutorial, let me know. I'm thinking of making a um, an ocean theme bead. So we'll have a little bit of water. We'll have a little bit of sand and maybe a starfish. Because um, those go well in the summer. And I don't have any of them. I think I have one focal piece. So I need to make a few more. So I will talk to you then. And you guys have a great night. Stay safe. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.